The biggest question for me was how to help my children. So my kids were diagnosed in 1994, around Christmas, with a genetic condition, and there was no support for it, and there was no research being done on it. And as I started to build registries and biobanks and various data collection tools and so on, I started to see that that was true about more than just this one disease. I began to see that each of the little, little things I was doing for, for my disease, my kids' disease, was really important to lots of organizations and started to build structures that would allow everybody to use platforms and registries and biobanks and tools that I was building. Right now, biomedical research is a wreck. People spend a billion dollars on a drug that has a 95%, 96% failure rate, and only 4% of people in the United States participate in clinical trials. I say that's a pretty failed experiment. If I name a song, you can download it right now and have it in your ear a minute from now. If you do need a, a, a cab or a ride, you can call it up on your phone. If you do want something to eat right now, it'll be at your door in 25 minutes. That we don't have that kind of convenience or attention to what we need in the health arena is crazy to me. And so my desire is to essentially really change the economic models and the business models for how things are done. Right now, big pharma companies spend a lot of money finding individuals to participate in clinical trials. We don't need to do that. We can make people available in clinical trials as ubiquitous as songs on our, on our uh, smartphone. And people want to be involved. And at the same time, I am not a Pollyannish person saying, oh, we should get rid of the pharmaceutical companies or the big academic researchers. We need them. We want to work with them. But we really want them to be addressing what we as people want. So I think if we hold the data, they have to come to us. I believe that we need information from people that's pretty ordinary information about how people live where they go to work, how they play, how they pray, and so on, and to be in the community with the individual in order to figure out their disease. So our system actually gives people a place to store the data uh, to be able to decide who's going to see these data, who's going to be able to use them. We're also giving the people ownership of this platform. So everyone who contributes data owns the platform. They receive shares, uh, they're shareholders, and so they uh, receive the benefit of whatever comes out of this platform because they own the platform. The data can't be sold. And if we can respect that people should control their own data and where it goes and how it flows, then we're really respecting individuals and communities and meeting their needs. I want and hope that people can start to realize that, in fact, their lived experience is the most important thing, not some arbitrary measure that somebody else made up, but each individual is the expert of their own experience. And that, that we do realize as communities that if we put all of our puzzle pieces together, we're going to be able to see the picture, we'll be able to make a difference, um, and that we will be able to change these paradigms.